all right guys welcome back to another video of shaman j yes i am still under the weather i know so this is a press kit for the tcl 10 5g this is the verizon version it's a huge box and i didn't want to do too much adjusting on the camera so i'm going to go ahead and get this box open i'm sure they put a lot of stuff in here shout out to tcl for hooking up the press kit i appreciate them and you know wow this this is a nice press kit look at this let's get this out of here oh it's kind of a bunch of stuff under here all right so tcl face mask i like that microfiber cloth nice and a case by spec so we'll go ahead and review all of that and for now let's get this open here the power of 5g for everyone all right so here is the device nice box all right, nice presentation all together uh, from TCL. So uh, this has a 6.53 inch full HD display, uh, 2.4 gigahertz octa-core processor, 48 megapixel camera, 128 gigs of storage, six gigs of RAM, 4,500 milliamp hour battery, and a 5G Qualcomm processor, Snapdragon. So in the box here, you've got a SIM card in there from Verizon uh toolkit and everything let's just get this i'm not gonna bore you with this i want to see what this color looks like Ugh. Ah. all right all right so pretty nice so rear mounted fingerprint reader uh and it's this is kind of like a uh, mashup of the other devices here so let's uh crack this open here and then i am going to show you the device i'm not trying to tease you you know how i get down uh, so you've got manuals, instructions, and everything in there. I just re read that. You didn't see it. Uh, the uh, SIM tray open like this. You've got a nice braided cable there. All right. And you open down here, and you got a... Uh, this is a nice Type-C braided cable. Really nice. And you got the charging brick down there. 18-watt fast charger. So enough delaying. You know what I'm saying. It's time to get in here and open this box up. Because I know that's why you are here. <laughs> So, I apologize. Again, I'm still on the weather a little bit, but this is a video that I've been waiting to show you guys, and we're gonna do it. Now, this color is like a black color, looks like, or some kind of shimmer. Uh, so we're gonna, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, folks. Let's get this ugly sticker off the back here. Now let me start over. Oh my goodness, folks, do you see, son, look, sick or not, you, you, you see the pattern. That's gangster right there, though. That is gangster. All right, TCL. This has got to be one of the most fire backs I have seen in a long time. I mean, come on, son. This is crazy. This is ridiculous, man. I've never in my life seen anything like this. Wow. <sighs> so I'm going to sign in here. God, this hardware is just beast mode. Come on, son. And then I'll put the clear case on here, and it's going to be even more fire. Fire! Blizzard! No, that's that old register. Uh, so power, volume, SIM tray, uh, headphone jack, booyah, microphone, speaker setup, everything down there, and we're good to go. So we're going to fire this up. Speaker up top, too. I'm going to fire this up, and uh, wow. Let me, I'm going to get this set up and then I'll be right back. I got to get this one fired up for you. All right, guys, we are back with the setup process. It is all done. And I am going to give you a detailed walkthrough of this device. And I'll also show it next to the uh, other devices. Uh, I am excited. So let me get my rag here because I want to clean this off. I'm going to start with the hardware. Um, yeah, this is. This is absolutely beautiful. Now let's go ahead and bring in the 10L so you can kind of see the differences and upgrades that they've made with uh, the designs. And then here is, probably don't need to clean it off, but here is the 10 Pro. So the 5G version of this, they take away a camera. They It's a little bit thicker than both of these. It feels like, uh, and then it's just it's the middle ground. It's got a nice processor inside, and you see the shimmer on on this tin. You see what they've done there? They added like the crystal effect. Looks like it's a crystal. 
Uh, but that is the size comparison between this one. This one looks like it's the same phone, just a little bit thicker. And this is also black. Uh, it's got that shimmer. This is blue. Uh, but they these are very close. I mean, saying they made the camera bump slimmer uh, on the 5G one for Verizon. Uh, and it's like it's almost like they just kind of upgraded a lot on this device. Uh, and then as far as the 10 Pro, well, the 10 Pro obviously is a little bit more sleek. Uh, it doesn't have that shimmer uh, like these devices do. Uh, but nonetheless, we are in here. So we're going to look at um, this uh, device's software. I've set up the fingerprint reader. Uh, and uh, now I've moved some things around, obviously, because I've set up set up the device the way I wanted to set up. So ultimately, I took things off of the home screen and uh, just set it up the way I'm going to use it. So uh, let's turn off Verizon's 5G here. Or for, uh, turn off Wi-Fi and we'll use 5G. Right now it's on LTE for some reason. I'm going to turn off. It also came default with Data Saver turned on for some reason. Let me see if I can get in here and, and turn this off. Uh, and then we're going to look at all the settings. and Because uh, it won't let me access it from the top for some reason. Data Saver. Sailor Network. Blah, 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 blah. Uh... For some reason, it's kind of it's got that data saver turned on, uh, and I'll I'll figure out how to get that get that off in a second. But let's go through uh, the device now. This is how it came to me with these buttons down here. So I'm obviously going to navigate over there to try to get those turned off. Uh, but again, my home screen setup here. This is the default wallpaper that came on here. You see the punch hole camera at the top up there, uh, and then uh, you got the Verizon messaging app, standard Verizon bloatware. Look at there's a lot of Verizon bloatware on here, tons of it. So let's look for, well, it's all right there in front of my face, Facebook. Oh, we can uninstall it. So yes, first thing to always go when I have devices is Facebook. I do not like Facebook. Don't support it at all. Now, things like this, like Candy Crush, these games right here, I wouldn't put that on there. I, I like that game, but um, maybe I'll play it, I guess. Uh, but um, you've got a few other things. And it's weird that the these some of these games aren't in the game section. But uh, I added Asphalt 9, this Crossword Jam, that other game up here, uh, Candy Crush, this Raid, that's all. The, everything was on this, this Solitaire, this Merge Dragons, all these things were here. Toon Blast, that's all that was that was on this phone. And I consider that bloatware, like Wish, let's, let's get rid of this crap. <clears throat> I can deal with having the games on here. Is this Yahoo News? <laughs> I mean, I guess, man, there are some things on here that are definitely bloatware. Uh, that I would not use but for the you know I'm just gonna go ahead and move past this I'm not gonna send the video and uninstall a whole bunch of stuff but one thing I like about TCL devices is they have a gallery app I love it so let's get into settings here now this is an HDR 10 compliant device so the, the screen is just gonna be fantastic because this display is nice this display is, display is superb on the pro and even the 10 L has a great screen uh, but this one is HDR 10 compliant so let's go into display real quick uh, and we're gonna switch on dark mode we don't want to have dark mode not on I prefer dark mode we're not gonna schedule it uh, you can get the adaptive brightness let's get this set to 30 uh, you got the default screen size and everything and then uh, you've got the NXT vision this is something that you really should turn on uh, when you get your TCL devices because they have this great thing out here you can sunlight display it, it cranks the brightness up so high that you will in fact see your display in direct sunlight and I have tested this out on other TCL devices and it, it's fantastic so home screen and wallpapers and everything so you have themes and everything in here and you got these different ones now uh, I believe that they have a different theme uh, at this time this is round uh, let's see here yeah, I think they have the round one installed uh, as a default, and this is the square one down here. So we're gonna leave it with the round. Uh, then you've got home screen settings, basic things here. Home app, you can put another launcher. You can put different launchers on here. And let's go into the wallpapers and see what is different. And what we've got new, wow, these are some beautiful wallpapers. Oh my gosh. Let's see what's in here in the live. Oh yeah, these are fantastic. So we're gonna go with a still. And the wallpaper that's on here, I don't know what theme this is, but it is definitely a a wallpaper that's in there so let's go back accidentally close it all right and you can long press to get to things uh, it's this one right here okay my bad I got my glasses on but let's change it to this one here 
Wow. I think I want to go with this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go back and put them both to that. And, uh, oh, yeah, that's nice. Set both. And you also have your scrolling effects in there as well. So uh, here's another wallpaper. It's just some really good wallpapers in here. And you have live wallpapers as well. Uh, so let's go back out here and let's go to uh, you've got your sound and vibration. You got vibrate for calls. I definitely want that on there. Ringtone up. Uh, pretty decent uh, speaker on here. Don't want touch sounds. I definitely have to get to the navigation system here because I do not like not. I'm so used to gestures now. It's incredible. Yeah, I have to use gestures. And you've got more gestures in here, like flip to mute, mute, <laughs> flip to mute, uh, power button launches the camera. I don't like that. I've had my share of accidentally uh, activating the camera, and it was not fun. Phone died. It was on so long. Then you've got your smart manager. This is letting you know it's going to scan the system, make sure everything is legit. Uh, and then, you know, you go from there. You got your battery and, and notifications here. So that's a, a system a functionality that these phones have. And other phones have some type of uh, system smart manager like that, too. So you just have to keep note of that. Now, uh, as far as the storage goes, I haven't installed too much, but the system is taking up 32 gigs. And, and honestly, that's not a good look. 32 gigs in the system is ugh, it's not a good look. However, you've got Smart Manager, and he'll take care of that for me, or she. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much it. Let me search for a system update. There might be a system update. I'm doing it over Verizon's network, so it might not pull down. All right, it's up to date. So let's check the software. And see what software we're on again here's that resolution 1080p by 2340 120 gigs of storage. this is all the the things on the device here a 48 this is okay yeah 16 i was about to say the 16 is i was like wait a minute i'm counting one two three okay i'm not crazy uh six gigs of ram 120 gigs of storage uh snapdragon 765g really nice so we're on the august 1st security batch so i'm sure that that's going to get an update i mean this is a press kit and you know some of these press kits go out really dated uh, but anyway the software on here is really fast it's fast and now let's take a look at the cameras the settings real quick it is the same type of settings that we've seen before in in TCL devices it's it's really solid it's really good uh, so you got the basic thing so let's go to more here so you've got stop motion slow motion light trace I really like that if you like to do those at night then you've got high pixel count uh, and it's basically gonna give a very detailed picture when you use that high pixel and you got super macro and panorama you got auto video let's check video real fast let's see the settings here for this we'll go up video quality can go up to 4k at 30 frames per second so that's pretty good and obviously the photos we can put it at high pixel and leave it there all the time uh yeah we can't we have to turn it off so let's go here Again, you can see all the pixels there, but you can change this to 48 megapixels without coming all the way into the settings, so that's good. Yeah, 4K recording, that's gonna be nice. We'll see, we'll test this. You've got that that uh, ultra wide. You can go at in and out. You got your wide right there. You can see how wide it went. This is a good look. And then you also have portrait. Super night, wow. You got portrait, and then you've got a pro mode. So phones now are coming with uh, pro mode, I, I noticed, and that is just a good look, man. So you got 16 by 9, 1 to 1, and full. So 16 by 9, it's going gonna, gonna to be a little bit closer when you do that. So uh, pretty nice. This is a nice setup here from, from uh, TCL. Got to clean it up. This is one of those, one of those uh, times where it's just a device that's pretty and looks really cool, but you got to keep it clean. It's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in another video. Take care.